So, as requested, here's a tutorial on how I created this car purchase model in Excel that um, generates scenarios of the car expense, annual car expense, depending on the car model, the model year, the additional costs, and upfront for a car loan that will be paid. So as demonstrated earlier, essentially how this model works is you have the ability to select options of car models. I have just a few here, a few Toyota models here. And as I select them, you notice how this value changes based on the value of the car model selected. I also have the opportunity to select the model year. So as expected, the um, cheaper, the older the year, the cheaper the car model. And even as you move this around, you see the car cost change. You see the car cost change here. <coughs> this essentially is showing the car cost based on the model year selected. And um, when you come over here, you are able to add on other factors in the car purchase, which in, um, include the additional costs that may apply, which are driver costs, which set as 50,000 naira per month. The model is computing based on an assumption of driver cost of 50,000 naira per month. And four costs, which also there's an assumption of 15,000 naira per month. Car tire change, assuming that will be twice in a year, servicing costs of four times in a year, and general maintenance cost 20,000 annually. The actual values for this I will show you when we move to the back end where the numbers are coming from. And as you select, um, an additional cost, this final value changes. And if you deselect them, you notice that the value reduces. Also, you have the opportunity to determine if this is a car you're buying, how much you're going to pay upfront. So, this was a car purchase cost generated, and the assumption is you don't want to spend this money all at once you want to take a loan and um, here you get the opportunity to select how much percentage of that purchase cost you're going to pay up front which will determine your car expense for that year for the year well minus loan interest charges actually so the lower we go on the upfront percentage you see that um, the lower the final value of expense will be and then the higher we go the higher the um, final volume final value will be so essentially um, this is the model and um, in this tutorial I'll demonstrate how this was the primary thing driving this model is a feature in Microsoft Excel known as form controls and you can access your form controls by going to the developer tab which shows up here right after the view tab in your excel ribbon if you um, if you've never used um, the developer tab in excel the developer tab doesn't normally come up you actually have to activate it by going to file um, going to excel options going to customize ribbon and then ticking the check box if it hasn't been ticked for you so if you've not done that um your developer the developer option will not show up on your tab on your excel ribbon so you have to do that so when you do that and then when you click the developer tab you see um basically um four sub options code um, the, the features the icons are grouped under four major um, subgroups there's code there's add-ins there's controls and there's xml the form controls are under the controls area and you click insert and then you see two groups of controls form controls and activex controls we're not focused on the activex controls at all our focus is on the form controls so before we get into um building rebuilding this model 
going to talk through the form controls and how they work. The form controls that we are using in this model to essentially make it work are four. There are four types of form controls being used here. The first is a list box, which is this box that is letting us select um, the different car models. And I'll show you where the list box is in the developer tab. So it's developer insert form controls here. So, and this is how you insert a list box into a model. This is essentially a list box. And I'll spend some time after this introduction to the form controls showing you how this list box is connected and it's um, turned into this interactive module that changes values as it's clicked. The second form control that you can see here are radio buttons. And this is an example of a radio button. This is where you select the radio buttons in the developer tab. It's developer insert radio or option button. It's also called option button. And then you select it. When you, when you click on it, your mouse turns into this plus sign. And then you hold the mouse down and draw it out to the extent to which you want the form control shape to form. And essentially, that's how you insert a, an option button or radio button form control in your model. The next form control are the checkbox, the ones enabling the selection of additional cost and apply. And how you insert those is by going to the developer tab, clicking insert. And then you see the checkbox here. You click on it, the mouse turns into the plus sign, you hold the plus down down with your mouse, and then you draw it out. And that's a checkbox. And then the last form control is a spin button. This is a spin button here. And to insert a spin bottle, same developer tab, same insert, and you see the spin button here. If you're not sure which of the icons correspond, you just hover over them and then you see um, the name of the icon pop up. So now I've walked through how the form controls are inserted into an Excel worksheet. I will, the next thing I'm going to do is to show you how they get connected. To, after that, I'm going to show you how they get connected and they become these interactive buttons that update when they are clicked. But before I go on to that, I just want to spend some time explaining the difference between the checkbox and the option button. Other than the fact that the checkbox is square and the option button is round, the checkbox enables the selection of multiple options while the option button enables selection of only one option. So like for model year, we really just want only one model year because cars can usually have just one model year that is attached to them. So we really just want to select one and that's why we're using option buttons here. But over here in thinking of additional costs, because the additional costs could change, you could decide not to include servicing costs or you could decide not to include, to include fail costs. Because we want to have the option to select multiple um options yeah we use checkboxes here so that is the reason why checkboxes are being used here and option buttons are used here option buttons are used for single selections while checkboxes are used in the list where you want multiple selections so now i've demonstrated how the form controls are inserted into the sheet i'm then going to go into a new sheet and show how this was created Good.